I don't even gotta say nothing, man. I done lost my voice. I don't even gotta say nothing, man. I think I might let these people do the talking real quick, man. I don't even gotta say much. I'm still waiting to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm still waiting. Look at look at the atmosphere. We still out here, man. We still out here. No cap. We're gonna be out here for a long time. So I figured I got the opportunity to talk to y'all. First of all, let me say shout out to the home team. Shout out to Gail. Shout out to my man Prime. Shout out to E Rock. You know what I'm saying? I was mobbing with Fourth and John podcast, man. Great, great hospitality from the fellas. You know what I'm saying? I get there, my man popped the trunk for me. He said, Gail got something for you. I said, Gail got something for me? How magical is this? I go to see what Gail got for me. It's a bottle. This about two o'clock. This is about two o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I lost my voice on the first drive. This is about two o'clock. About two o'clock. I'm already sipping the yak. I'm gonna give y'all a rundown of my day before we even start talking about the game. I'm gonna give y'all a rundown. This is about two o'clock. So I'm already si you know, I'm sipping, I'm sipping yak. Two two o'clock, I'm sipping yak. Game don't come on until eight. Then I start seeing hurt season hats all across the building. I'm like, stop it. I'm like, stop it. Every time I see a hurt season hat, I go up, I hug, I hug these people, bruh. I hug these people, bruh. Halftime, I go get me something to drink. I knew it was a wreck. Halftime, I go get me something to drink, right? Somebody stopped me in the line. They said, oh, you him. They said, you him. I said, no, I'm not. I said, Jalen Hurts is him. Jalen Hurts is him. Jalen Hurts is him. We not gonna fucking play around. We not gonna act like this shit is a game. We not gonna play around no more with my quarterback, bro. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. We not gonna play around with my quarterback no more. I don't care who told you what they told you, but I'm telling you from a motherfucker that was there. You hear me? Excuse my French. I'm telling you from a person that was there. He is him. He is him. I don't give a fuck what Skip Bayless tell you. I don't care what nobody tell you, bro. Shannon Sharp, Dan Cilio, the silly seal at the circus. I don't care what nobody tell you. Jalen Hurts is him. I seen it with my own eyes. I seen it with my own eyes. If they lie to you and tell you that he ain't him, I was there. I was there. I was there. I wasn't couch surfing. I wasn't couch surfing. You hear me? We're going to be here. Look, look how long it's going to take. It's going to take us a long time to get out of here. It's going to take us a long time to get out of here. I was there, y'all. This ain't no joke. This is not a false alarm. That was a franchise quarterback. Tight window throws. But listen, listen, listen. Let me, let me break it down to you like this. Two receivers. Two receivers at 80 yards. Receiving another two had over 60. I seen seven by halftime, six different people caught a pass. Over 300 passing yards in a game, over 50 rushing yards in a game. Sean, thank all y'all for the super chats. I ain't gonna lie, you y'all know, y'all know. It's the bully himself. Y'all know I appreciate the super chats, but I'm about to be in rare form. I don't have time to tell y'all, thank y'all. But I see him and thank y'all. Shout out my guy Sean for the 999. Shout out, shout out D Rob. Shout out D Rob for the 499. D Rob said, This is the most enjoyable game I've watched by this team in a while. Hurts and Slay. Slay could have had four. Slay could have had four today, bruh. Four. Four. Nobody in our division is going to beat the Vikings or the Lions. Mark it, book it, stamp it. Mark it, book it, stamp it. I was there. They could lie to y'all all they want. I saw it. I saw it. I saw the ghosts of all these haters, bro. I seen it. Talking about drunk Brunson. Drunk Brunson? I'm top shelf Brunson. Top shelf yak at the game. What is you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? Yeah. One time, I'm going to ask these people what they thought about the game real quick. You're going to hear this from some fans. Then we're going to get back to talking spicy. 
Hey guys, I'm sorry. We here. We're gonna be here for a long time. Can y'all? This I'm um, so I'm I'm an Eagles YouTuber. Can y'all tell them what y'all thought about the game and the quarterback? What you think? And what? In a couple words. What I thought about the game? What you thought about the game and the quarterback today? The quarterback? Jalen Hurts. Yeah. I think he played well tonight. Okay. I wish he wouldn't run as much. You know, but okay. Yeah. But I, think, I think he's getting, getting better week by week. So you see the progression and the development. I definitely do. Yeah. Oh, all right. He's just, I need to start. Maybe uh, not looking, just focus on uh -huh. receiver. He needs to check down sometimes. No, bro, bro, bro. He had two guys for 80 yards. Another two for 69. What do you, what do you uh, Devontae had 80. Devontae had 80. Uh, Dallas Goddard had 80. And what about what happened? What, AJ had about 60 plus. And it was somebody else. 60? Yeah, only, but, but no, he put. No, no, I'm saying I would have thought AJ had happened. Right, the, the way he was running. Yeah. The physicality that he was running with. Yeah. I think we got us one, bro. Or I think we good. See, a lot of people have never been to an Eagles game. They don't see this atmosphere. Right. So I'm glad we see this is real shit right here. We do this every Sunday. Yeah, but what we do too. Right, right. You know what I mean? I appreciate y'all, bro. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Listen, you too, bro. This real shit. He talking about being careful because he think I'm smack. I'm not drunk, bro. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk at all. I just lost my voice in the first quarter. But you see the bullshit, though, right? You see the bullshit, though, right? He need to spread the ball around more. What the fuck? What was you watching? Who do you see? Do you see this though? He got to spread the ball around more. Spread the ball around more. Where? Two motherfuckers had eighty. Two people. People act like they're oblivious to the shit at this point, bro. Excuse my French. I was at the game, and we really don't be talking nice at these games. This is this is the dialect and the dialect. This is how we do it at these games. Spread the ball around more. How many more times do you, do you see? Do you see the uphill battle? You see the uphill battle. He got to fight. He was elite today, bro. He looked like the best quarterback in the division today. Oh, I think he need to stop running less and spread the ball around more. 333 yards passing and 50 yards rushing. But they act like they got one eye when they see it. But my man, act like he got a patch on his eye. Act like he got a patch on your eye. Stop it, bro. I was there, bro. I don't think he was in the game. I don't think he was inside. I don't think he was inside, bro. He might have been listening to it on the radio. But I was there. Cool Cat Connor was there. My guy Philly Red was there. You see what I'm saying? Goons was there. E Rock Prime, we asked people that was there. Do you see that? Do you see the mentality? Oh, y'all all spread the ball around more. We got one, bro. We got a franchise quarterback. They could lie. They could cap. They could do whatever they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they want to do. Man, this live could go on until five in the morning. If somebody want me to move my car, we're going to have to swabble. You see what I'm saying? I saw it, y'all. I saw it. Y'all, I saw it. I know y'all saw it on Monday Night Football. I seen it. I seen it, bro. I seen it. And you know what's so crazy, bro? I've been backing this guy, Jalen Hurts, for two years. Two years I've been backing this guy, Jalen Hurts. Against shit like that. Like that. I'm glad y'all see it live, bro. Live. I'm glad y'all see it live. When Jalen Hurts came out the tunnel, some people was booing. A 333 passing yard game and 50 rushing touchdowns? I'm not here to sell y'all on no quarterback. I'm here to tell y'all when you got one, it's as plain as day. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Every throw that has to be made by a franchise quarterback was made today. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, Don Don, thank you, Don Don. Shout out to you. The Don Don, the Lions going to be good, Don Don. Just wait your time, Don Don. Wait your time. People always nitpicking. Oh, they, they, you want to talk about the interception that Jalen Hurst threw today? Ask, ask Nick Sirianni why the hell we still running the ball. Why, why is the quarterback running the ball when the game over? Why are you throwing screens when the game over? Where was the screens when Detroit was breathing down the quarterback neck? Jalen Hurst should not have a turnover if Nick Sirianni was a competent head coach. Jonathan Gannon. Jonathan Gannon put the team in a position to succeed today, though. So that's progress. That's progress progress i'm sorry y'all haven't been active today but i was i was i was here and i saw it i saw himothy himothy shout out easy to block captain himothy he's him bro jalen hurts is him he's him nick sirianni didn't call that bullshit nick sirianni the head coach when it's time to run the ball out the head coach just say run the ball to the offensive coordinator not throw a screen. 
I saw it, y'all. I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. I don't care what they lied to y'all about, about they need to see more. You don't need to see more, bro. You don't. He will continue to develop. And he will continue to get better. But you've seen 250-plus yard bombs in the last two weeks. You've seen it. Three interceptions, four interceptions in two games, y'all. How many picks we have today? Slate had two. Maddox had one. Four interceptions in two weeks. We usually don't do that. Dalvin Cook was nowhere to be found. Slay was on Jefferson body. Darius Slay was on Jefferson body. The great Justin Jefferson, who y'all was giving virtual neck to every time his name come up because we didn't draft him. Slay was on his body today. His body. Read my super chat, bro. My, my bad, Craig. Where is that? I got you. I got you. Let me get my guy, Craig. Let me get my dog, bro. Hertz was cooking. He is official dual threat quarterback. Come on. These dudes, man, come on. You out here eating your Wawa sandwich? Look at, look at it. He's still right there. You out here eating your Wawa sandwich talking about he need to stop running more? What the f- what, what? 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 My section was saying a fly equals fly proudly. He need to stop running more. What? I don't get it sometime, y'all. It's cap. This cap. This is the facts, bro. Jalen Hurts is the best quarterback in the NFC East. I'm telling y'all, bro. Nobody else in the NFC East could get you 333 passing yards and 50 touchdowns. I don't even think Jalen. I, I, I don't even think Daniel Jones has a 200 yard passing game yet in two weeks. I don't think so. Carson Wentz got a lot of stats, a lot of turnovers though. We know what he do. Dak Prescott is more injury prone than Carson Wentz. Listen, Sunday, Carson. We're gonna, we're gonna do you. We're gonna do you. Joseph, thank you for the super chat, bruh. Thank you for the super chat, bruh. This was the test. The Vikings game was the big test for me because everybody was giving the Vikings massive neck, neck bones and collard greens after they beat Aaron Rodgers. Then they just put up seven on Monday Night Football, bruh. Stop it, bruh. You wanna know why the Bills and the Eagles played on Monday Night Football? Because they look like the best two teams in the league right now, bruh. The Bills and the Eagles look like the best two teams in the league right now. Dalvin Cook got shut down. Justin Jefferson, oh, Philly wanted to draft me. I, I, I'm happy where I'm at. You sure? Because your quarterback threw three picks. Threw three picks. Threw three picks. Shout out to everybody that seen me today. Shout out to everybody that showed me love. I seen my guy Vic, Victor Williams today. Um, the Liberty Bell, y'all know Vic, man, on Twitter, man. Shout out to all of the fellas, bro, that pulled up, man. Shout out, bro. It was crazy today, bro. It was crazy. It was crazy. That's all I'm going to say. It was crazy today, bro. Opening day is nothing like it. This one, this one they was giving out today. A little bad. I think he needs to run more. Get the, what? I'm still mad about that, bro. I thought you was going to keep it a bean. That's why I put you on my, that's why I put you on my Summer Jam screen. I thought you was going to keep it a bean. That's what they gave out, though, man. You got to get to an opening day because they always give you a, a little treat. You know what I'm saying? They was giving out little cups, too. You know what I mean? If you, if you got, like, a cocktail or something. But, you know, I ain't saving no cup. I ain't saving no cup. When I put you on the camera, I expect you to keep it a bean, bro. Keep it a bean. Stop lying. You see, Do you see it? They want to act like they didn't see it. I thought he played good. What? You thought? He played good in the discussion. I don't like Tua. Go on Twitter, at Law underscore Brunson. I had to give it up. Tua was cooking. I don't like Kyler Murray. Go on Twitter. I had to give it up. That was a nice comeback by Kyler Murray. Why don't y'all want to give it up for Jalen Hurts? Sometimes you just got to praise good play. LT, thank you for the super chat. LB, just FYI, Dallas and Giants YouTubers ended their streams early. They were salty, salty. They know we didn't. Yeah, they were salty, bruh. The Giants got the phoniest 2-0 in the league right now. We're going to beat the shit out the Giants. Dog, dookie, shit out the Giants. Worry about no damn Giants. That's the weakest 2-0 in the National Football League right now. Clearly, the Titans are buns. They just got pulled apart like pulled pork and mark holmes made clearly they trash they got pulled apart so your titans win is null and void then who they play week two who did the giants play week two who the giants play week two another trash team who did the giants play week two somebody let me know 
I'm looking for. I can't even remember. They were so trash. Who the Lions play? I'm, I'm looking. Somebody put it. Please help me out. Carolina Baker. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. We about to feast on the bones of Carson Wentz next week. On God. On God. Jonathan Gannon figured it out. Let your playmakers make plays. We let five. We let four interceptions. On, got three of them. You can't be mad at three picks. You cannot be mad at three picks. We left more. Listen, we could have had about five. Kirk Cousins was bad today, bro. The schemes was crazy. He was getting confused. I can't wait to me and Philly might do the all 22. 10,000 people in the chat. Monday Night Football. Thank all y'all for the super chats. I'm sorry. The Panthers are trash. The Bengals are trash. Every team that beat somebody in the NFC East was trash. Was trash was trash. We played the best competition out of the NFC East this year. Clearly. Clearly. Because the Lions already beat somebody in the division, and the, and the, and the Vikings going to catch somebody else slipping too. You talking about guys that's beating their chest or beating Baker Mayfield. This line has not moved at all. Cars pulling up in front of me. Guys out here beating Baker Mayfield. Who was the uh, Joe Burrow with no offensive line. Who the Cowboys? Uh, come on, bruh. I don't respect nobody winning the division this week. Nobody. Nobody win. Because they don't got quarterbacks that's getting disrespected. How the hell is Jalen Hurts getting more disrespect than Carson Wentz? And Jalen Hurts took that man's job. Took his job. What they going to say now? What, 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 what Bobby from King of the Hill going to say this week? What are you going to say this week? What they going to say this week, bro, is nothing that you can say. I don't think he's starting quarterback. I don't care what you thought. Did you watch the game this week? And did you watch the game last week? What they going to say? Everybody was saying Hurts can't get the ball to A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown averaging 100 yards a game if you do it by average. Everybody was crying. Oh, we need to get Smitty the ball. Smitty was properly integrated in the first 15 scripted plays. Everybody was saying he can't throw across the middle. Eagles YouTubers, y'all, this offseason have tried to go back and forth with me on Twitter for supporting my quarterback. Some of these dudes are scared, bro. Scary individuals. I'm going to keep it a stack. They scared to do something like this and put it on the line for what they believe in, bro. They terrified because the masses will crucify them. They worry about the masses. You know why I don't worry about the masses? Because I'm a big stepper. I'm really from out here, yo. I'm about to go sleep somewhere in a, and I'm about to go sleep in a five-star establishment in my city because I'm really from out here, bro. I don't have a problem putting it on the line because I could walk and get a pretzel or water ice. I'm from out here. I'm from out here, bro. We let a lot of these dudes infiltrate our culture and act like they from out here. They not like us, yo. Some of these guys not like us, bro. They not like us, bruh. They scared to embrace the people. That's a fun fact. A fun fact. Clearly, clearly, this is how much I love y'all. I could have been in a tunnel with NFL players pregame. A lot of these guys would have took that opportunity to get that footage. Where was I at? Outside with the people. Outside with the people. Because I'm the people too. I ain't never too big for the moment, bruh. How many people walked up to me and hugged me, bruh? And I told them we was going to get this dub. How many did that, bruh? Ask some of these other guys how many people they touched today. Ask them. Ask some of these other guys how many drinks they bought for random people because they said they rock with their content. Ask how many of these other guys how, how many times they rolled for their quarterback since day one. If you don't ride for your quarterback, what you really doing? What you really doing? Y'all was scared to rock for y'all quarterback. Now he out here dog and shit. And you forced to rock with him. Come on, bruh. Out of here, bruh. Nobody would never play with me like that out here, bruh. On everything, nobody would never play with me out here about this quarterback, bruh. Nobody would ever play with me out here about Jalen Hurts, bruh. Nobody would ever play with me out here, bruh. When you see a Hurts season head at the game, that shit gets saluted now, bro. Y'all did that. Y'all trust me enough to believe in the guy and look at the development. Look at the development, yo. Y'all trust me enough to buy a piece of merchandise and it took us over the top. Look at the development now, dog. Look at what y'all hard work has done. 
Look at what your hard work has done. And it's not about me, bro. They, people asking me where, somebody walked up to me and asked me where I got the hat. That's how I know it's y'all. I made the hat. They walking up to me asking me where the hat came from. That's because of y'all, bro. That it ain't about me. It's about this. It's not about me. This don't say Lord Brunson. It's not about me, man. I am nobody. And you might as well do this. It's about this, bruh. It's about this. It's about these colors, bruh. These colors, bruh. Come on, bruh. Stop it, bruh. Jalen Hurts is him. I witnessed it with my own eyes, bruh. If he was bad, I would say it, man. If he wasn't like that, I would say it, bruh. But I see every game I go to and Jalen Hurts is the starter, he do this type of stuff, bruh. Which is why I'm a believer. When I'm in attendance, he do this type of stuff, bruh. What was they saying? What, what was the commentator saying? What was the commentator saying? You know why these Giants guys streamed our game? Because they wanted to laugh at us. You know why these Cowboys content creators streamed our game? Because they wanted to laugh at us. You know why I didn't stream the Cowboys game? Because I've been laughing at them, man. Come on, bruh. Been laughing at them, bruh. And your boy that had that video out, he was going to go see that girl. He wasn't out here today. Because he ain't allowed to be. I ain't seen. I ain't seen. And my footprint's been in every lot today. Looking for a W. A George W. Y'all talking about, man, I just stopped spending Super Bowl money from 2017, bro. I need more. I really do this shit, man. I really do this, bro. I really do this, bro. When I believe in it, it come true. It come true. Look at my game. Look at my tape, bro. Look at my game tape. Look at my game tape. Look at my game tape, bro. You better check my game tape, bro. That's on everything, bro. Check my game tape. When I really feel adamant about some trophies get raised. Check my game tape. Kurt. <laughs> Kurt. Jalen Hurts is the best quarterback in the NFC East. No cap. I don't give a damn about Dak Prescott. I don't give a damn about none of these dudes, bro. Dak Prescott been around six years. It been one, pl one playoff win. Jalen Hurts winning a playoff game this year. Stop it, bro. Stop it. I came out here with a truck full of hats. How much the hat, huh? How much? How much? Go get me a shot from somewhere. Come back with a shot of some yak and you get a hat. Shot costs $10 and you get a hat. That's how much the hat costs. Then when I start getting tired, take it. Take the hat. Put it on. Out of here, man. You gonna tell me my guy can't throw. And these stubborn ass fans out here right now, they still wanna act like he can't throw. It's cap, bro. Y'all watched Monday Night Football. Use your own eyes. Don't listen to these guys. You see these Cowboys content creators? Oh, well, well Shannon Sharp, they regular men, bro. Shannon Sharp wasn't at the game, so I don't give a damn what he say on Monday. If you wasn't at the game tonight, I don't give a damn what you say if you ain't saying my boy cooked tonight. If you wasn't at the game tonight, I don't care what you say unless you saying he cooked. Your opinion don't mean nothing if you didn't see what I saw tonight. The, the highlights do not do it justice, bruh. Get out here, bruh. Week three, I'm going to be there. The highlights do not do it justice. It don't do it justice. It don't do it justice, bruh. On God, it don't do it justice. It don't. It don't do it justice, bruh. They can't say nothing, but we look like we, we look like how we were supposed to look. You can't say nothing, bruh. Stop playing around with my quarterback, bro. That noodle arm shit and that narrative that y'all tried to push. Dan Cilio, yeah, you and all your other guys tried to push this narrative like he can't throw the ball. The same narrative that you try to push on Lamar Jackson, but he's been scorching shit since this season. The same narratives that y'all try to push on some of these quarterbacks and y'all knock them for being athletic. Y'all don't do that shit to uh, 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 my boy in Buffalo. Y'all don't do that to Josh Allen. 
Josh Allen probably the best dual threat in the game. Y'all don't knock him for being an athletic quarterback. Stop knocking Jalen Hurts. When Jalen Hurts go out here and throw for 300, 300, listen, throwing for 300 yards is not normal, y'all. You got to be different to do that. It's not normal, bruh. It's not normal. It's not. I don't care who tell you whatever they want to tell you, bruh. And that touchdown, listen, nobody should be able to throw for 333 yards and force their way in the end zone on a running play like that as a quarterback, bruh. There's only two people or three people in the game that can do that. Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson probably can't even force himself in there with brute strength. If you grab Lamar, he probably he, he probably down. Josh Allen and Jalen Hurts are the only two people that can make that run to the end zone and still throw for 300 passing yards. That's it. It's only two people that could do that, bruh. We've been watching this game together for a very, very long time, bruh. The stuff that Jalen Hurts did is not normal. It's not normal to throw for 333 passing yards and have 50 rushing yards, bruh. It's not normal, bruh. It's not normal for your first two games to consist of over 500 passing yards, y'all. And over 150 rushing yards. Those are not normal things, bruh. A little under 140, a little under 150, probably like 140. But that's not normal, y'all. I'm telling y'all it's not normal, bro. They can try to downplay it all they want, but people don't do these things, bro. I don't want to hear none of this. He got to keep developing. He not ready. I don't want to hear none of this. He need to run fast. What, what was you talking about, boy? What was you talking about, boy? What was you talking about? You talk about nothing. You talk about nothing, boy. You talk about nothing. You out there eating some Frito-Lays. They had chicken fingers inside. If you would have went inside, you might have had a better outlook on the game. You might have had a better perspective. You might have been able to keep it real. They had hot dogs. They had Franks. Shit had peppers, onions, all that. If you would have been inside instead of eating your Frito-Lays outside, maybe you'd be in a better mood and in a better position to tell the truth. They had chicken fingers in there. Chicken, I meant, bro, I had burnt, I had barbecue, all of that. All of that, bruh. All of that. I'm so good with this right now, the crowd could be cheering. You could say LB from two sections away and I can hear you. And I'm going to stop what I'm doing. I'm going to meet you in the middle. We're going to have a hug because we got some stuff to talk about. We got, if you say LB out loud, I'll appear like Candyman around here, bruh. LB, here I come. What's going on, gang? What's up with it? You enjoying the game where you sitting at? Straight like that, bruh. Straight like that, bruh. Straight like that, bruh. All of this, go get Russell, go get that. No, develop your second round pick and watch magic happen. Develop your second round pick and watch magic happen. That's the message of the day. Development brings magic. I've been sitting in the same spot for 27 minutes with my foot on the brake. Development brings magic. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. 20, 26 for 31, 83. Kara, I love you. 83% completion percentage on Monday Night Football. And he need to stop running? What don't y'all like about him? Somebody messaged me the other day. This is what they said. It was so weird. It was a grown-ass man. A grown-ass man. I was in the live. He said, LB, I'm not going to lie to you. You might need to go back to the old haircut. Y'all remember the old haircut? I, used to, I always had the same fade, but I had a part. I used to have a part right. It was my specialty. About two years, I had the same part. Then I switched it up. It was COVID. My barber started getting busy. So I said, I'm going to lock it up. I'm going to lock it up. Grown man, LB, you need to go back to the same haircut. I said, why well, I got to do that? This is my natural hair. This is just what I, this is me, bro. It's me. Then I thought about it. A dual threat is Jalen. Some people might not like it, but it's him. And it's working. So what you upset about? What you upset about? My hair look like this, but guess what? I take care of my kids. I take care of my family. It's working. So why are you worrying about my hair if I'm a stand-up guy? Why are you worrying about his athleticism if he's a stand-up guy? And if the game plan working? What are y'all really trying to say? What's the real reason why you don't like your quarterback? If he trash, crucify him. If he do what he just did on Monday Night Football, cut the malarkey out, bro, and tell me what you really don't like, bro. To be man enough to tell me what you really don't like. LB, your hair makes me uncomfortable. Your hair scares me. Tell me that so I can tell you I don't give a damn. That's your problem because your hair looks amazing to me. 
I like your hair. If my hair scare you and my demeanor scare you, something wrong with you. Something wrong with you, bruh. Weak ass men out here, bruh. Lying. Lying ass, weak ass men. He need to stay in the pocket more and throw the ball. If Jalen Hurts would have stayed in the pocket last week, he would have got baptized and we would have lost that game. Stay in the pocket. He stayed in the pocket. 83% completion percentage. And you want to know what's crazy? I went to go get a drink when the quiz bomb happened. I came back to people waiting with their hands up like this to give me high fives. Then I went to get another drink. Interception happened. I said, y'all know what, John? I'm talking to the whole section now. When you, yeah, we talking to the section now. Gail was in the section from 4th and John. Prime was in the section. Bro, I love watching games with Prime and Gail. I hope I sit with them next week when we in D.C. I hope so. I hope so. But when you in the section with real leaders of the fan base, when you in the section with real guys who represent some real guys that you could touch and feel, the win makes that much more sense. The win is that much more beautiful. It's that much more beautiful. It's that much more beautiful, bro. Do y'all know how hard we've been working here on this show? It's like I went our sixth season. Six seasons? Six seasons? I could come to the game and get that from the people that support me, man. I loved every minute of the day, bro. Eagles fans are marvelous, man. Y'all are marvelous as supporters. I'm so sorry if I don't get to these. Craig, my guy Craig, and that interception wasn't Hurts' fault. It wasn't Hurts' fault. I don't think you should hear. Liz, what's going on, Liz? This was a team win for real, for real. I don't know. Yeah. You know what, Liz? This was a team win, bro. Everybody ate. Everybody ate. Slay ate. Maddox ate. Hurts eight, Quez eight, Smitty eight, Goddard eight, AJ eight. How many rushing yards did Miles have? He ate. Everybody ate. And you want to know what's even more crazy about this? Everybody ate, and the refs was cheating. The refs ain't want us to cook them. We could have blew. We could have blew the brakes off them in the first half. The refs ain't let it happen. The refs said, not this time. The refs, the only way the refs can tax us with that RPO crap, I'm starting to hate the RPO because you get way too many illegal man downfield type of situations. I don't really like it because they can get you that way. Jalen Hurts don't even have to, we don't even have to run the ball, y'all. I'm telling y'all, bro. He looked that good, bro. He looked that good tonight that he could have threw the ball 50 times and still probably had 75% completion percentage, bro. He has too many weapons, bro. It's way too many weapons on the field, bruh. It's dangerous when you got this many weapons, bruh. They was terrified of A.J. Brown, bruh. When they called A.J. Brown, they was terrified, bruh. We wasn't scared of Jeff Jefferson, Jefferson, though. Not at the link. Every time Jalen Rager got the ball, they said this was a redemption game? You a role player, boss. You a role player, so play your role, gang. You a role player, play your role. This ain't no redemption, a redemption game for Jalen Rager? They don't even call plays for guys like that when Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen on the field. We shut Jefferson down. We shut Cook down. We exposed Kurt on Monday Night Football. We know he can't win no primetime game. We know he can't do it. I was being easy on Twitter today because I was at the game, but I'm about to souffle chicken they ass all night long. I'm trying to get out of here, though, bro. Look at this, man. Hey, my guy, Craig MC, thank you for the super chat. You know what I'm saying? He ain't go. He ain't go inside the game, y'all. He didn't go in there. That's the grill on the back of the truck. He did not go inside, bro. He he, he stayed outside and cooled out. So he really ain't see it. So I really ain't even mad at you, bro. But stop camping. Go inside and go go inside. Willie, well, what's going on? Let's see what's up to be. Willie Beeman, what up? Marcus C, what up? I seen Cameron in here. Lawrence Reed, what up? Billy Philly, what up? My guy Craig, see, my, my guy Craig MC said, this for your voice, LB. It'll be fine. Listen, listen, I appreciate that, bro. The voice went out. That's what happened when you go to these games, bro. I'm just trying to recover for Sunday because I got another one. Another one. Another one. Then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be back in Philly for uh for Green Bay, for Dallas. It's, it's busy. It's business. This season is special, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. This season is not regular. Hertz was 83% on the day, completed eight straight to start the day. I didn't even see that, and I was there. Eight straight? I know we scored on the first drive. We usually start off slow. This is a good team. 
dang you want three dang dang you uh dang you what three hours from home um no so my sister downtown so my sister downtown right now she had one of her friends house they watched the game there i'm gonna pick my sister up and she gonna knock out like two hours of this drive she got no choice she ain't got no choice man that was the agreement the agreement was i buy you a ticket you knock out some of this drive she ain't even want to go she wanted to go watch it at her front house. She got to abide by the agreement. I hope she didn't get some sleep. I hope she didn't get... But I, I, I ain't even get too crazy at the game, though. It might seem like it. I ain't get too crazy. I ain't get too crazy. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, though. The loud, the loud was in the air. The loud was in the air. This is the first time I've been down here and, and the loud was like that. The loud was in the air. It was in the air, bruh. It was in the air out here we was ready we were celebrating early we were celebrating early and y'all seen us do the skull check we was out there skull it skull 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 while we was beating the dog shit out of them. skull skull we wasn't playing with them Lavin, thank you for the super chat hey lb I, I i gotta get with you man uh get a hat to rep here in va i live in va man let me know let me know Lavin. dm me dm me let me know we was out there skull skull Skull, skull, they were sick. They were sick. Y'all should get blown out like that every time for y'all coming down here playing with that Rocky statue. Every time y'all should get touched like that. Every time y'all should get touched like that. We touch y'all the way we want, Minnesota. Don't ever forget that. Do not ever forget that. Carson Wentz is done, bro. The, the Washington Commanders ain't beating us next week, bro. They not beating us next week, bro. And even if they do beat us next week, we should probably still be in first because they lost to Detroit and we beat Detroit. The Washington Commanders is not beating us next week, bro. We might, we might blow them out. We might get another two, three picks. What team got more interceptions than the Eagles this year? Probably the Bills because the way they did the Titans was reckless and ruthless. What team got more interceptions than us this year? The Kirsten, five sacks next. Kirsten, you coming to the game? Kirsten, if you want to come to the game, DM me. I'm going to buy you a ticket if you want to come to the game. Shout out to Ray Brinson. Who that? Unbearable. Like, yeah, I'm about to be unbearable. I'm about to be unbearable. Y'all lucky this ain't a division opponent we did this bad. Y'all lucky. But on Twitter tomorrow, if you do not like me, and if you're here just being an op just watching, please do not go on Twitter tomorrow. Please, for the love of you. And the love of your fan base and the love of your team Do not go on Twitter tomorrow Gannon was great Gannon was good today I might now Hey Kirsten you wasn't going uh, Kirsten I got you Kirsten Let me know if you're coming Kirsten uh, I'll get that for you I'll get that for you if you're coming I'm going to get with my guy at Philly Sports Trips I'm going to see if we got another ticket in the section I'm going to see if you can sit with the gang Because we be lit We be lit We, pe we, we pass the Remy we, we Pass the bottle around We be lit you know what I'm saying? Enjoying the dub as we should. So please DM me. I'm going to talk to my guy tomorrow and we're going to be in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here, man. Sponsor, like, like, I, had, I, like, I had a lot of sponsorships that was supposed to start today and everybody been sending me contracts. So if y'all know, influencers know this. The nine times out of ten, the sponsorship don't start until you sign the contract. I said, I don't sign contracts on opening day. I don't do those things opening day. I'm, in, I'm out here in the ambiance with the people. I'm not out here. I'm not out here. Listen, listen, listen. Come on, man. Come on. Do not ever disrespect Jalen Hurts again in my presence. Do not ever disrespect my quarterback again in my presence. I'm telling y'all, bro. Do not do it again. Do not do it again in my presence, bro. I knew we had one from a long time because I am a product of hard work myself. I know what can happen when you work hard. A lot of people that didn't believe in them, they don't know what can happen if you work hard and you be determined because they never put that type of pressure on themselves, bruh. They never did it, bruh. They never put that type of pressure on themselves, bruh. Man to man, bruh. Man to man. I know what can happen when another man applies himself 100%. I'm telling you, bro. Another human being giving 100% of his cerebral to anything, it will turn out good. Jalen Hurts was determined to show y'all that he could play the position because y'all said he couldn't. 
If everybody would have been, listen, it's a lot of guys that get championed, these guys that can play quarterback. They've been talking about, this. bro, why the line ain't moving, bro? The other joint moving, bro. I'm trying to dip. You know, what I mean? listen, a lot of people have been saying Daniel Jones was good. Oh, yeah, this, 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 this line right here. Back up, gang. A lot of people have been getting championed and been getting hailed as, as guys that can do it. But, you know, we really ain't seen it from them. We really ain't seen it from them. Daniel Jones is one of them. Tua just finally had a breakout situation. Sam Darnold will be around until he's 50 because they're going to always give Sam Darnold a chance. And we know Sam Darnold is trash. Baker Mayfield is trash. I think Kyler Murray is trash. I don't give a damn about that game last week. Listen, a hit dog holler, bro. Kyler Murray was trash until things changed for him in the, in the fourth quarter. He had to do a lot of running. Kyler Murray is trash. That's how I feel. A lot of these dudes are buns. Zach Wilson, buns. Homeboy in Chicago, buns. Trey Lance, buns. These are all guys that everybody said was better than Jalen Hurts, and they're not, bruh. They are not better than Jalen Hurts. Bryce Young will not be better than Jalen Hurts. I don't give a damn, bro. I don't care. I said what I said, bro. I said it last season. I said anybody that was drafted last year will not be better than Jalen Hurts. Matt Jones was decent last year, but I don't even think Matt Jones is better than Jalen Hurts. I don't think he's better than Jalen Hurts. I studied this guy from rooter to the tutor, tutor to the rooter. Front to back, I studied him. And nobody wants it better than him, bro. Nobody wants it better than him. These guys got to say he bad because it's safe. They got to say he bad because it's safe. You know what's not safe? Putting your whole brand on the line. Your whole brand on the line. Having a number one wide receiver support your brand and wear your brand. That's not safe. That's belief. That's belief. And every time I believed in something, dog, it came true. That's the bottom line, bro. These dudes scared to believe in a quarterback. He out here salty, buddy, right here. Salty. Salty with that little ass grill talking about he need to, he need to throw more. He need to, he need to run, he need to run less. Cause you can't run. Cause you can cause you weak. Your, your, your calves and your quads weak. Cause you can't run. Cause you can't listen. If the cops come right now and I got to run from somebody, I can hop a gate. I can hop a gate. A lot of people can't hop a gate right now. So it makes them mad of other people that can do them type of things. I get it. Because you can't run. You mad? He need to stop. Did he run too much today or am I missing something, bro? Am I missing something? Am I missing something? So if I would have asked you if you don't like him because of the way he looked, and you would have looked stupid. Now, nah, bro, I, I, they, I'm not like that. They go to face. Why would you say that? I'm not like that. Why the hell you could? It's, it's no possible critique tonight, bro. I don't care who break down the all twenty-two film. I don't care who show you he was open here, but he went here, there. There is no negative critique on the quarterback tonight, bro. I can't find it. I saw it in person, bro. So you can go find me some still shots of another guy open, but he going somewhere else. You gonna look like a hater. Do not do it this week. Do not lie this week, bro. Please don't lie this week. It's nothing to critique about. Try again next week. Instead of trying to critique Jalen Hurts, y'all should be looking at the pocket passing Kirk Cousins who was out there pulling them to the side for the defense to do what they wanted to do. Instead of critiquing Jalen Hurts, critique Kirk Cousins. Try that out for a change because he was looking like dog doodle. No, 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 no. Not dog doodle. He was looking like dinosaur doodle. 365 million year old doodle. Extinct doodle. Fossilized doodle. Kirk Cousins was looking like trash. But he's a pure pocket passer who's an expert at reading the field. But he was out there. Slay could have had four picks today, bro. He was out there shook. 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 But they not going to criticize him. They're going to count this as a bad game. But if Jalen Hurts do what Kirk Cousins did tonight, they would breathe down his neck with the fire of a dragon from, from, the, from Daenerys Targaryen herself. They would breathe on his neck and try to destroy his reputation, his character, all of that, bruh. 
all of that, bruh. If he did what Kirk Cousins did tonight, 1,400 people in the chat. It's, it's, it's 1223 in the morning. I know y'all still feeling good after the win. My guy Willie Jenkins, thank you for the super chat. I respect you. Slay with the double digits this season. Yeah. 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 Listen, bro, at some point, I don't even stop. Listen, I wasn't even excited when he started carving them up because I seen him do it before, bro. I wasn't even excited, bro. I'm like this, y'all. Hey, this was me. The golf clap. I don't have time to clap loud and exert extra energy on things that I knew it was. This was me, y'all. Ray Settle. Ray Settle golf clap. Ray Settle golf clap. I was in hype. I wasn't loud. I was sipping my yak and clapping. And clapping like a proud fan who've, who's believed since day one. Who's believed since day one. Uh, Bobby from King of the Hill. Buddy, the freak from King of the Hill. He gonna make his video, make some type of hating comment. They gonna do it. They gonna do it. They gonna hate, they gonna lie, they gonna make up, they gonna make up stuff, they gonna throw dirt on his name, they gonna find another reason. But you will all understand that it's cat, bruh. Y'all saw the game, bruh. Don't let nobody lie to y'all no more. Don't let nobody lie to y'all no more, bro. Y'all saw the game, bro. You seen a franchise quarterback. Don't let him lie to y'all. Where Mike at? Mike in the building? I told Mike to send me the chat. Me and Mike supposed to do post game. We're going to do it tomorrow. Mike, what's up, Mike? Go to sleep, Mike. I know you got to get up early. I don't know if I'm going to make it in the office tomorrow, y'all. I'm going to try. I don't know. Hurt Cerebral. He's all uh, six hours later. Car still in the same spot. Still in the same spot, bro. I ain't moving out a lick. Nobody moved, though. Open it, but but the trap. Oh, it's, it's two lots. I'm in the middle of two lots trying to funnel out. No cap, I should have parked, bro. I'm in the middle of two uh two joints trying to funnel out. Hurt season price is finna go. Y'all already know. My guy Philly Mike in the building. A lot, it's a, it's a lot, a lot of these dudes, bro. A lot of these dudes was super super scared to support their quarterback because it was dangerous for them. It was dangerous for them, bro. To say your quarterback is good, sometimes they scared to have people disagreeing with them. They scared. Instead, what they do to people like me who stand on what they believe in, they say we delusional. They say it, bro. I remember the 2017 season when Carson Wentz went down and I said Nick Foles was probably going to win the Super Bowl. I remember that, right? Y'all remember the memes when they was calling me, what was it? What was it? They, they was calling me uh, Swami Brunson when I used to rock the turban. When I used to tell y'all what was going to happen and it was happening. Y'all remember that, bro. I got to bring the turban back out. Come on, bro. Shout out to D'Angelo Xavier. Oh, my God, D-Lo. I'm, I'm sorry, D-Lo. I'm, so, I'm sorry, man. We got 1,300 people in there. Shout out my guy, D-Lo. My guy, D-Lo, man. The album is dropping. Almost three 100-yard receivers without uh, uh, without the penalties. Facts. My guy, D-Lo, album dropping. My guy, Philly Mike. Thank you for the super chat. Bro, the voice the, the voice hurt. The voice hurt hurts his, hurts his him. I love it. The voice, bro, it don't hurt. Let me get some more to Mike. Let me get some more to Mike. It don't hurt that bad, Mike. But this is what it's supposed to be when you get that dub at home. I'm going to drink some tea with the lemon and honey. Get ready for Sunday. Back at it again. We moving a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We moving a little bit. Buddy, what you lying ass, bro? Talking about, he, talking about he ran too much. Man, I was there, bro. You was watching that shit outside on the 12-inch. I was inside. I was inside. I seen it in li live and in living color. You can, a radio broadcaster. Listen, I'm not going to listen. I love 94. I, I, I love those guys. I love all the radio stations. I love I love Merrill. I, lo I, I love everybody that comment on the game. But if you don't see it in person, bro, it does not do you no justice, bro. It doesn't do you no justice. My guy, Gavin, thank you for the super chat. Key, what up? What up? What's going on, Key? You know what I mean? They off this joint watching it on the tablet, thinking that they got the full spectrum of what was really happening. But we real, we was in there, y'all. We was in there, bro. They can't lie, bro. They cannot lie no more. And I'm glad my guy Red was in there because my guy Red is a fair critic of Jalen Hurts. And he's seen it. When I called Red, I know you're watching Red. I know you're trying to get home. When I talked to my guy Red, he was in the bed. I said, get down here. Tickets only a bean. They only a bean. Pull up. Pull up. They only a bean. Pull up. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm glad my guy Red came out and to, to see it in person. Because I'm telling y'all, bro, the All-22, the replays, Monday Night Football, it does not do it justice. I feel like if you see it in person, then you can watch it again. I'm going to rewatch it tomorrow. Me and Mike going to do the All-22 at some point this week, but it don't do it justice. It don't do it justice. Shout out to Knight Rider for the... Willie Beeman, man. Thank, thank you so much, Willie, bro. Thank you so much, Willie. Please DM me, Willie. Please DM me, DM me, Willie. I'm going to definitely take care of you, bro. You definitely, um, you definitely one of the best mods that I had this whole time I've been doing this YouTube thing, bro. Because y'all you, know I like to talk and I don't like to read no super chats, bro. I'm so sorry, bro. LB, beat my super chat if you can. I got you, LT. I'm going to try to find it. It's a couple of joints back. I ain't going to Let me read these joints right here. My guy S. Johnson, thank you for the $9.99. My guy Gavin, thank you for the $4.99. My man Darius Slay, lockdown corner, corner from Brunswick, George. Darius Slay, lockdown corner. Yeah, I mean, we already know that. We already know Slay, lockdown corner. I don't even know why Kirk Cousins would even play with him. I don't know. T.J. Edwards had a phenomenal game as well. Six tackles, um, two assists, eight total. He was everywhere, bro. Kaiser White had a phenomenal game as well. Phenomenal game as well for Maddox. Really, really strong game. Gardner Johnson was really, really strong today, bro. Everybody has to chip in if you want to win a Super Bowl. Everybody got to chip in if you want to win a Super Bowl. I think Kirk Cousins is slightly better than Carson Wentz. So I feel like we should be able to do the same thing to Carson Wentz. But I will say this about the Commanders. They have a, a, a wider range of weapons. Like guys like Curtis Samuels, they, they, have a, they have a more diverse situation. Fletch was good as well. Fletch was very good today. Kept force feeding Jefferson. You have to. You got it. You got to, bro. That's, I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. When it, when, when the going gets tough, you got to get the ball to your guy. But don't do that if there is Slay covered. Did it look like Slay got hurt? Nah. It didn't look like Hassan Reddick had a really good game as well. Hassan Reddick was coming free, putting that pressure on Kirk Cousins, and Kirk Cousins was throwing it up. LB, LT said, LB, my super chat was, do you have 17 birds in the car? Turn it on, man. I can't turn on music while I'm on live. That's the only thing, bro. But I'm definitely going to turn it on when we get out of here. I should blast it right here for Buddy, who was watching the game on that low-ass child's tablet, talking about Jalen Hurts and he need to stop running more. Dog, and he looked stupid as hell saying it, bro. He looked stupid as hell saying it. Even McPherson got a, almost got a pick right. The picks was out there. What section you in for the Commanders game? I don't know quite yet. I'll find that out this week. Read my super chat. It's going to help create a dynasty. Where you at, Sean? Just say it again for me, Sean. Bro, this shit is not moving, bro. I got to go to the other line, bro. People out here about to go to sleep. Yeah, this line ain't moving at all, bro. I got to get out of here, man. You want 17 birds? Big ring I play for the 17 birds. They was playing that shit in a couple of tailgates too. I was embarrassed, bro, because I ain't no performer. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I, I get busy when he's trying to go to the studio. I was embarrassed, bro. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. Somebody was like, hey, that's his song right there. I was like, please, bro, please. Don't put me on the spot like that. Please, I was embarrassed. You think the commanders uh could be tricky? I do. I don't I, I don't I don't my guy Delo said you can't be, bro. I, you you're right, Delo, you're right. You really definitely can't be embarrassed. You can't be embarrassed if you put out some beautiful art. You're absolutely right about that. But you know what I mean? I think I think the commanders gonna be tricky. I think it's gonna be tricky, but we're gonna win. Those two first rounders looking Gucci for next year. Absolutely. Absolutely. The Philadelphia Eagles probably going to end up getting like a cornerback and a safety next year and next year's draft. A cornerback and a safety, I think that could be real good for us next year. We need Slay at 80% Sunday. What y'all talking about? Slay got hurt? Greg Miller said, man, you ain't nothing to be embarrassed about. It wasn't embarrassed. I, 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 guess, it was, I guess it was more, more of like kind of be sh more of kind of more, more shy. Because as you could tell, like I ain't start, I ain't just start writing raps yesterday. I really be doing this. And the fact that a lot of people don't know don't know how I do it is because I'm passionate about it and it's very near and dear to my heart. Because the stuff that I write about is real life experience type stuff. The stuff I write about is like 
really the stuff like like, like I, I come from this bro I really come from this type of stuff that I'm talking about. So, like, when I come down here to these games, I'm from 17th in York, bro. A lot of people just can't just walk around there, bro. A lot of people cannot walk around there. They can't go in Jenny's. They can't go in the store on 16th in York. They can't go into the poppy store on 17th in York. A lot of people can't do that, bro. A lot of because they skin. Like, like you just see a face, but I'm really stamped. This is, this is a stamp you're looking at. A lot of people can't do that, bro. So, it's like, you know... I'm telling real stories from a real place, and and and, 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 and and all my art is near and dear to my heart, and I appreciate all y'all for all your support in the streams, bro. All y'all for all y'all support in the streams, man. You know what I mean? Cause y'all ain't had to listen to that. Y'all could have just said, "Oh, he's just a guy that talk eagles, just trying to branch out." I'm really like that though. Kirsten, I know you from 16th and Diamond, Kirsten. Make sure you make sure you at FedEx Field uh, on Sunday. Commander should, uh, Commander should be easy for you guys. Yeah, I guess the Eagles fans cheered when Jalen Rager dropped the ball or had it hit his hands uh, deserve, deservingly. So, yeah, I mean, the game was over at that point. We different. Seven, my, hey, cousin, what's going on, cousin? Hey, aunt, come up, aunt. I'll buy you a ticket. Come up to uh, Washington, man. Sunday, man. Damn, I should have called you, bro. You should have been out here with me today, man. It was crazy, cousin. I'm going to be back, though. I'm going to be back for... um. Green Bay, Pittsburgh, or whatever. You let me know which one you want to go to, cousin. We going to it, bro. Eagles fans from the 301, we here. You already know. Yes, sir. Great win. Had me hype at work. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Definitely was a great win. I mean, a total team win where everybody on the team ate. You got team wins where guys, you know, chip in. But dudes ate the day, bro. Three picks. When is the last time the Philadelphia Eagles had three interceptions? Probably was the last time we seen Kirk Cousins in the Washington uniform, for real, for real. When was the last time we had three interceptions, bro? We came in this game talking about Gannon needing to improve. Gannon got interceptions. Gannon got a strip sack. This defense is very, very talented, bro. This defense is not a defense you can play with. Giants fans was bragging about being in first place. They ain't beat nobody. But bro, don't uh, but bro, don't ever feel like that because you come you, you coming on tour with me when the time comes, especially for the album tour. Hey, bro, hey, D-Lo, if you bring me on tour, bro, I'm definitely gonna do what I'm supposed to do. I'm definitely gonna do what I'm supposed to do if you bring me on tour. You already know. I'll be not. I, I listen. I will be. I, I'll let you know. I was nervous after the tour, a, 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 after my set, after I cook it. Definitely gonna definitely gonna handle my business. But, you know, I perform well in them situations, though. I perform well. The first time I had to get out my vehicle, uh, my up-armored vehicle, and put my boots on the ground in Afghanistan, it was a lot of butterflies. I was nervous. I said, damn, I'm, I'm really out here where a lot of people done lost their life and a lot of people done bust a lot of shots out here. I'm really out here. It was a little nerve-wracking. Then the second time I did it, I was a little better. And the third time I did it, yeah, I, yeah we turned into Terminator out there. Long story short. So, you know, it comes with repetitions, man. But I would be honored to go on tour with my guy D-Lo, bro. D'Angelo Xavier is one of the best rappers that you never heard of if you ain't hear of him. Straight like that. Go stream Dicky Suit. Yes, sir. My guy Dilly Philly, you already know. O-Line play, uh, o play was great. Just got to get more discipline. Bro, I, bro, a lot of them calls, illegal man downfield was complete BS, bro. Complete B BS. Seven touchdowns, turnovers, one, LOL, I rest my case. You already know. Nitro says, uh, uh, Hurts train. We ain't worry about what Buddy talking about, bro. We ain't worry about Buddy, bro. We ain't worry about Buddy, bro. I try to be nice to a lot of these guys. I try to not be like, man, some of these boys lame as hell. I try to not do that to some of these dudes, bro, because, like, I feel like everybody got their own voice and their own audience, man, but some of these dudes you just can't even worry about, bro. You can't even worry about some of these dudes, bro. You can't worry about some of these dudes, man. We ain't worry about but nobody. Listen, if you don't say he cooked, I can't. I, I can't even take you serious, bro. I can't even take you serious. My lot. My lotta had. Uh, my lotta had a mid game tonight. Uh, it was hard for me to even care about anybody the way that Jalen Hurts was wheeling and dealing, bro. It was hard for me to even look. So I'm gonna look at the All 22 film. But you know, as it, it, as as criticized as my quarterback was, it is, and me sitting in the stands wearing a hurt season hat. With a lot of people that has bought the hat from me, I really couldn't really focus on everything of the game, but I had to focus on my quarterback. I had to focus on 
how he got the ball out. I had to focus on this, this, if he's getting better. My whole mindset for this season was if the Philadelphia Eagles lose a bunch of games, those bunch of games we lose should not be because of the quarterback because he should be getting better. That was my focus. And I feel like now that I feel like I trust my quarterback that much more, I feel like now I can start looking at small nuances of the game. You know what I'm saying? You can't really look at everything on the first try. You really can't do it. You know what I mean? You really can't look at everything on the first go. You know what I mean? So the All-22 film is going to tell us exactly why we did. Listen, they score on, they, they, they didn't score anything in the second half, bro. I don't think we scored in the second half at all either. But like, did we have to? We was the ones with the lead. Some guys didn't score nothing in the second half at all, bro. Nothing in the second half. They, they only scored one time in one quarter. Multiple red zone picks by this defense, bro. I mean, this is special. Special. Kelsey was catching bodies in the trenches. I did see that. Jalen Hurts of the Philadelphia Eagles is the first player in NFL history to throw for three. Are we back? My bad, my bad, y'all. We back. I'm sorry about that. My sister was calling me. She was just checking on me, making sure I was all right. She don't believe me that I, I moved like four cars since this, man. You know what I'm saying? But man, I, 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 re I really, really hope y'all, y'all can't hear? Are we good? Are we good now? My, my bad, y'all. My sister was calling and checking on me, man. I, I apologize. She don't believe that I moved like a bunch of cars, but it's looking like it's moving. I'm going to buckle up. I'm going to tighten up. I'm going to try to get home. Cause I really, really want to make it to work tomorrow. Cause I got a bunch of projects at work, you know, that need my attention. Um, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best to make it to work tomorrow, even though I'm still a little under the weather. I'm gonna try my best. But yeah, man, it's been a long night, man. You talking about a 12:40 in the morning, man? I'm not gonna hold y'all, man. It was a great win. Um, 1,300 people in the chat, one o'clock in the morning, bro. This, this, this is this what we do, man. We bring the excitement. We bring, we bring everything we supposed to bring, man. Eagles football is is, is, is a special situation. Um, I want y'all to go to sleep. I want y'all to get some sleep, and I want y'all to wake up and enjoy Victory Tuesday. Well, it's already Tuesday. Enjoy Victory Tuesday. This is going to be a great week. The commanders are trash. We're going to go out there and zip them up, glad bag style. It's going to be beautiful next Sunday as well. It was a movie today, y'all. I'm not going to lie. From the fireworks to the drill team, to the soft ass pretzels, to Xfinity Live, everything that was supposed to happen, it happened for the Philadelphia Eagles. And we could not be in a much more better place to, to have a quarterback this good on a rookie deal. Fantastic, fabulous. I can't wait to see these divisional teams and I can't wait to put boots and hands and feet on them as well. We are that team right now, bro. We that team right now until somebody take it from us. And that's how I'm feeling right now, man. Good night, y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for tapping in, man. We 2-0, y'all. And, and um, we're going to be 3-0 after Sunday, man. I can, I, I, we, we pretty much can guarantee that, y'all. So, man, have a good night, man. Um, I'm going to announce the winners uh, of the contest uh, shortly. I'm going to go get my sister. And then I'm going to uh, have her sit in this seat. And I'm going to sit in that seat. And we're just going to continue to elevate this, man. Such a, listen, I'm smiling from ear to ear, y'all. Have a good one, y'all. I love y'all.